Chris here with Copperhead Metal Detecting. I just got permission to hunt this 1900 home right here. And I've been here for about 30 minutes. I've only dug a few trashy targets. And I just got my first really good signal on the new uh, Knox. It was hitting about uh, 28, 29, 30. Let's take a look at it. Okay. I'm back with the uh, new Equinox that I've got. Uh, like I said, I've been here for a little while playing with it. And I got my first good signal right here. See a coin on edge sticking up right there. Looks like we have silver. Looks like a Merc. See if I can get the ear off of it. I'll be back to clean it up a little bit. Okay, I'm back with trying to clean it up. There's uh, no saving this one. This one is thin and totally wiped. I cannot get a date off of it. It has to be old. You could even see just how thin that is. Well... First silver with the Knox. That's a good thing. On to the next. <clears throat> okay, I'm back with my next find. <clears throat> I just turned it over and started to dig with my hands. And if you can see it, right here. Some kind of a... Not sure if a brooch or a hair clip maybe. You'll see the pin attached to it on the back. So that is a really neat find right there. Okay, I'll try to clean it up and show it in the wrap-up. Okay, I'm back with my next target. You can... Uh, Cut the plug and see it's sitting right there. <clears throat> uh, what do we got here? Looks like we got a peony. One cent, so it is a weedy. Okay, I'll clean it up and uh, I'll get back with you. Okay, I'm back with the cleanup on it. I think it says 1936 on it. Like I said, I can't tell for sure. I was trying to get a close-up on it to see if it would focus, but it's not. But I think that's what it is. On to the next. I just got permission this morning to hunt this old 1900 home here that's behind me. And my first target out of the ground this morning was a Wheatie. I couldn't get a date off of it, so I didn't film it. But I got another target just now. And on the Knox, it's reading a 32. So let's hope the target is as good as it sounds in the IDs. I'll turn that around and we'll look at it. Okay, I've got the uh, hole partially dug out, uh, or I've got the shoveling ready to pry it out, and I thought I'd live dig it since it was such a good number and it came up so good. Let's hope it's uh, a good target.
I hate doing live digs with my, you can only got one hand. Okay, I'm back. Home, homeowner came out and was all upset because I was uh, digging in the yard and wanted to know what I was doing. I, I'm assuming his wife didn't let him know that she'd already gave me permission, but this is the target that uh, I was uh, getting a high ID on. And I'm not sure what it is. Looks like it's just a piece of junk, though. On to the next find. <coughs> Okay, I'm back with my next target out of the ground. That uh, was about uh, four inches deep. You can see it right here. Not a coin, but it's got a little round design to it. Let me clean it up just a little bit and I'll be back with a picture of it. <clears throat> okay, I'm back with it cleaned up a little bit. Ah, uh, maybe a salt pepper shaker top. Two small holes in the top of it. That's about all I can come up with on it. Okay, on to the next target. <clears throat> Okay, I'm back with my next target. And it is right here in the bottom of the hole <laughs> underneath these roots. You can see it right there. But that was a deep target. As you can see, it's a, probably right at eight inches. Just about gave up on it. Didn't think I was going to find it. Looks like it's uh, another weedy. That red color to it. Barely see the date on it right there. Let me clean it up. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with the cleanup. You could see it right there. 1944. That is deep for a 44 weedy. Okay, well, on to the next. Okay, I'm back with another target in the hole. It's got a kind of a, see the reddish kind of flaking. It's, there it is. Must have been in there with some brick. Not sure. I'll clean it up and be right back. Okay, I'm back with the cleanup. It's a 1945 Wheaty. Okay, I'm back with a, another target in the hole right here. So you can see it. Right there. Uh, looks like we got a <laughs> clad quarter. And the targets are few and far between, other than those 
few uh, Wheaties that I dug. Dug a lot of trash, still trying to learn the knocks, so I don't pass on anything that gives me a good tone. Let's see what we got. Can't really make it out. 1990, 1980, I can't tell for sure. Okay, on to the next. Okay, I've hunted the house for about three hours now, and I've only dug three wheat pennies and uh, three, four clad coins, a lot of junk, and I dug most all of the front yard, every bit of it, both sides and came out to, from the house. Once I got out into the other part here, and I'll show you as I turn, it got to a lot more junky and a lot less targets. Kind of see the whole view here. And I just didn't come up with very much. I had high hopes for this house and it just didn't turn out to what I wanted. So on to the next hunt. Okay, a little wrap up on the uh, finds today at the 1900 homes. You can see, got a few nails, some kind of a piece of tube, a lot of pieces of metal, chunks of metal, a couple of the the old uh, jar lids, some of the ceramic, several little round objects. I'm not sure what they are. Soda tops other little chunks of metal and then I had this little disc it has some numbers on it can't really read it this little hinge here of course the little salt or pepper shaker that uh, might have been I can't really tell for sure if that's what it is or not and then you had the <clears throat> one quarter two dimes two memorials and the two Wheaties. I think I'm missing one of my wheat pennies. I'm not sure where it went. And also this little bitty button. Tried to clean it up. It's pretty beat up. Those are the finds for today. So I will see you at the next permission. This morning I'm headed to a provision that uh, I got last night and when it's within a walking distance of the house, it's great. I'll show you what I mean. This is the 1917 home that I took my inaugural run out on with the uh, Knox and <clears throat> this is the walk this morning. <clears throat> to the 1920s home. Had to do a little research and work on this one. Uh, nobody lives in the home itself. They actually live in a different state. So I had to track them down, get a number, and call and get permission. So luckily, they said yes. This morning it's eight o'clock and nice and cool. Came a storm last night. So this should make the, today pretty good. And I also got permission to the house next to it, which was built in 1924. He said he's already been over it, but we know how that goes. And there's the home. The old stairway. <clears throat> and this is the other home. 1924. So, I'll get started. First good target, I'll be back.
Okay, I'm uh, back with the very first target, very first hole out of the yard. Of course, the indicator was showing it at 8 or 10 inches, but you can see it's nowhere near that. It's a matter of fact, cut the plug, it's right on top of it. Not sure we got a penny here, but what's it going to be? <laughs> Just a Lincoln. All right. On to the next one. Okay, I'm back with the second target out of the ground. As you can see it, I just flipped the plug over and it was just laying in the hole right here. Got another peeny. And that's awful smooth. I can't see the one sand on it right there. Ground is muddy this morning. Can't make out the date on it. Let's see if I can clean it up just a little bit. I'll show you. Okay, I'm back with cleaning it up. It's a 1940 something. I cannot make out the last number on it, so on to the next one. Okay, back with the next target. <clears throat> Got a nice little coin ball right here. Can't really tell for sure. <clears throat> Let me see if I can clean it up just a little bit. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with it. Uh, it's just another memorial. <clears throat> I dug one just a few minutes ago. Right there. I didn't video it, but this one was given a little bit of a higher tone. On to the next. Okay, back with the next target. <clears throat> You can see it, I already flipped it out of the hole right here. I'm guessing that's another peony. <laughs> so Lincoln, God. Memorial, you can see just how deep that was. <clears throat> You're looking at about six and a half inches. <clears throat> On to the next one. Okay, I'm back with my next target. I already pulled it out and cleaned it up. It's another weedy. Got a date off of it. The good thing is this one actually dates to the date of the home. It's actually a 1920 Weedy. I don't know if you can see that or not, but... <clears throat> On to the next. Okay, I rechecked the hole where the 1920 Weedy just came from. And I got another target. You can see it right there in the hole. It's kind of a large disc. Uh, everything is still really muddy. Let me clean it up. I'll be right back Okay, I'm back with the cleanup. This is probably one of the first I've ever found. I think it is a, a good luck token uh, It says copper clad Crank club and then on the back Which is really cool is because it has the swastikas uh, and it says, I get it to focus, be a member of the copper clad or, oh, be a user of the copper clad or 
a member of the Wish I Had. And it has, a, as you can see, the swastikas and a four-leaf clover, I believe. On to the next. Okay, I just dug a, another weedy, and I'm probably not going to film every single weedy that comes out of here, but there is a 1937 weedy. I'll show them all in the wrap-up. If it's something interesting, I'll definitely video it. On to the next. <clears throat> okay, I'm back with another target. I said I wouldn't film any more of the... <clears throat> Wheaties, but uh, I couldn't help but uh, do this one because you can see the imprint in the plug and then also the imprint right in the ground where it came from and I cleaned it up and it is a 1919 weedy. So on with the next one. 